But I'm going to go ahead and transition us to article two. This comes from community member Will Gaskins. We're going to be looking. What's up, Will? <laughs> Uh, we're going to be looking at the first 3D printed home in the United States. So, um, the, the title really says it all. A company called SQ4D was able to print the, the United States' first 3D printed home. And the way they did this is for our listeners that are familiar with 3D printing technologies. Uh, the printer that you get from Amazon for 100 bucks it uses a method called FDM, which is Fused Deposition Molding. Is that right? Modeling, modeling, I think. There we go. And basically, they're just putting down uh, material layer by layer. It's a little nozzle that squeezes out liquid material that turns to solid, and they do it layer exactly. by layer to build whatever. So they're want. doing the same thing uh, at SQ4D, just using concrete. They're laying down concrete layer by layer until they get the the walls of the infrastructure all set up. What's really cool about this, Dan, is that they said this house that they built only took 48 hours to get the walls all the way up. It only cost $6,000 worth of material. And then it only took three workers to make sure that like everything is operating as intended. All of this. That's the, insane. I don't know most of the ballpark figures around building a house, but that seems like $6,000 for a 1900 square foot house, only 48 hours with three people. That seems like a vast improvement on the construction, you know, for the first, I don't know few dozen steps in building exactly apps. and it's like they, they put in some quick figures that i i want to get to 41 percent of this house was created use it at additive manufacturing what that led to is that a 30 percent reduction in the total cost of construction so that that is pretty impressive and again like i'm on zillow all the time looking at homes that i can't buy so i went on zillow and i looked at this home and like you said it's 19, 1900 square feet it's brand new construction it has two bedrooms two bathrooms and if you look at all the other homes and its surroundings, it is substantially cheaper. I think it comes down to about two hundred dollars per square feet. So that's awesome. They, they accomplished something important: a very cost-effective method of manufacturing a home in a time where home prices are like skyrocketing. But that's not it. That's that's not all there is to it. This home is also a lot safer, according to SQ4D. They're saying that it's, it's a lot safer, it won't burn down, it's a lot more structurally sound, which is all very impressive. But And I imagine, as compared to using traditional building materials, it also is probably stronger, more weather resistant, mm -hmm. um, and it's probably more energy efficient in terms of keeping exactly. heat inside your home as well. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. But what I thought was very cool is that you can essentially customize your house to be whatever you want it to be. You have that fr freedom with 3D uh, 3D. Yeah, I mean, that's why you and I like 3D printing stuff on our own is because we can design it on the computer, make whatever we want, and then click a button, and the 3D printer makes it out of exactly. plastic. This seems like a similar thing. You could work with an architect or designer, build the house exactly how you want it, basically click a button, and they take this giant 3D printer out there and just squirt concrete out to make the house that you want. That sounds incredible to me. But I have my reservations, right? They're, they're... Let's hear them. Like, let's say you want to remodel your kitchen, or like you want to add... I don't know, a walk-in closet. You might just knock down um, a wall or two and then, you know, buy some drywall from uh, Home Depot, some two-by-fours. You're all good. You're all set up. I'm assuming mm -hmm. that's what most DIYers and, like, constru uh, not construction workers, but people that, like, work with interior design and modeling. Yeah. I mean, my dad and I, we aren't professional contractors, but, you know, over the past few weeks, my dad and brothers and I have been hanging TVs in right. our house. And it's pretty simple process if you're familiar with drywall and you're familiar with you know wood construction houses i bet this could get pretty complicated if there you're you familiar go. with you know 3d printed concrete or like houses. how to work with concrete like I'm, I'm sure it's not easy to just knock down a concrete wall and then set another one up like that that's kind yeah. of the iffy part of it but you know i i kind of feel like the analogy at least that i'm drawing is that if you were to buy an electric car in the mid-2000s you could probably drive it in San Francisco and charge it up here and there, but you could not do cross-country trips. It just didn't make sense. Now look at us a decade and a half, two decades later. Mm -hmm. It's a no-brainer. Everybody has, I feel like I, at least I know one person that has an electric vehicle. Everybody has electric vehicles. It's, it's the yeah. only thing that people talk and about. I think along with your analogy, these 3D printed houses, they're pretty early in their development right now, but I could see them becoming more and more relevant to people as time goes on. I mean, it's really appealing to me. 
to think about designing a home that I could, you know, pick the dimensions and it's 31% cheaper than building a house out of traditional materials and it's super customized. And I feel like it's super appealing also to people our age and like our generation that already can't afford homes. And now you're telling them, hey, here's a approach that's safer, more affordable and highly customizable. It's a no brainer. Yeah, it sounds like a yeah. win to me. I'm looking forward. Hopefully one day I'll be living in a 3D printed house. And I'll invite Maybe you we'll over. even have a 3D printed podcast studio. Who knows? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Hook us up with SQ4D to get a 3D printed studio.